from your uh, you know uh, idea these are all mundane things there are lots of management books out there but these three core concepts are behind this that is a shaolin monk you know what's what's unusual about this he's walking on the wall that is anti gravity and he's doing it so easily he has nothing to hold him there so he's he's no different like than me and you these these pictures are 3 years old what is he doing differently can you do that about yourself your art in your daily life to achieve that level that's a monk and said this is an amazing stage show these photographs are selling for like $500 that's uh, that's a marvel of human physiology what he's accomplishing there again if you interview this person he's going to say i'm i'm very aware of my body i do this intuitively and this my creativity is mastered so uh, i leave you with this thought by morihai urshiba if you want to be invincible the best in what you do the game changer you're not competing with anybody you're competing with the demons in your head he says there are no contests in the art of peace a true warrior is invincible because he contests with nothing why why do you need to compete silicon valley is the most competitive place in the world people are better because they compete with your own demons i am building a better product than i did than i did in in my last quarter i'm not building it because of my rival company or my competitor i do it because i am good at it so uh, i i feel this is uh, defeat means to defeat the mind of contention that we harbor within i i totally agree with that and i think this is where the balance uh, is achieved in vertical living you achieve work life balance and you have a very good shot at being a game changer so vertical living is a lifestyle of self mastery the more you master yourself the, the more you master your fears you have no limits to achieve your largest fear carries uh, the potential of your greatest growth once you know your fears and limits first you accept it i cannot do this this is not me and then you know okay this is not me what can i do so this is the parting thought for vertical living start with these gifts it's it's all about self mastery and um, yeah this is a take take home for uh, all of you thank you so much for um, listening to the talk a uh, vertical living is available on amazon barnes and nobles flipkart google play itunes uh, it's also available in audio cd and audible format um, if you have any questions about this i'm working on some projects i'm conducting workshops I'm also uh, collaborating with other speakers. If you're interested to know more, uh, you can visit my website. Um, thank you so much for coming today. It's a Saturday morning. I know it's a lot of effort to come and sit and listen. Uh, I really appreciate you uh, being patient and listening to me. Thank you. If anybody has questions? <laughs> you can you just grab a mic if you have any questions yeah that's what that's yeah that's really good yeah. well thank you so i have a question oh you have <laughs> okay <laughs> so you did 7 years of research on this huh yeah wow. can you tell us more about it yeah i expected this question how did i uh, write can, i do not can you yeah. so uh seven years of research was um I started writing the book when I was in uh, Philadelphia and uh, I was doing workshops with, with the Buddhist uh, monks and uh, also they were uh, experts in uh, uh, shamanistic form of meditation I was reading up on Vedas and Upanishads that I I happened to read a lot of books from Jay Krishnamurti he is not uh, affiliated to any religious uh, thought I just felt the way he explained things Uh, it made me understand about uh, karma yoga jnana yoga bhakti yoga and uh, uh, raja yoga so i just followed it and applied it to people who are uh, in the industry game changers so this was my thought pattern do the workshops read the books go and interview people do the workshops read the books go and interview people so so, so four years ago i did my first draft and uh, the reviews uh, did not come out well they said i need to have more charts more how tos so then i went back and read it i think i did seven or eight revisions it took me two years to revise so it, it did take a long time yeah yeah thank you i have a comment not a question yeah sure um, i just think it's amazing that you took this risk and you know quit your job and with a small child you know, 
it's amazing that you did it. It's very inspiring. Thank you. <laughs> You're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> In, uh, in, in writing, writing the book. Uh, I, I would like to share this with all aspiring authors. Uh, when you start writing a book, you have this idea in mind, you know, this it inspires you, takes over your life. But when you put it, uh, put those ideas on paper, they change. So the, the successful author completes the chapter. The, the, the hallucinating author never completes the book. I want people to be practical and successful. So put your ideas down. You will never be happy with the chapter. It's the, you'll never be happy with the book, but it needs to go out. These ideas need to reach people. Uh, when I did this workshop on creativity, and I saw these people, they were like, wow. They, they looked different. Their faces were different. I said, this needs to go in a book. And I don't care if there are a couple of typos here and there. I don't care. But this needs to go out. The blog needs to come out. The video needs to roll out. It's not perfect. Look, today I'm not perfect. We don't have everyone in our so I don't care. It needs to be done. Things need to be done. So I'm not the Da Vinci. I'm like the work-life balance mom who's in the book. So I, that, will, that should be your uh, you know, take home. Like, I'm right here. I'm imperfect. It's fine. This is what it is. That's me. So yeah. More questions? So I believe the book and uh, CD are on sale today, right? Yeah, I, mean, I can't sell it here. There's an uh, audio CD version. Uh, there's also a paperback version. If you buy it today, you get a discount. <laughs> it's not like, I think so, most of you have bought it, but still. This, this was more a private affair. I wanted to uh, tell people what it was about. So, um, yeah. Great. Yeah, okay. okay. This, uh, any questions about, um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I hope you didn't have trouble finding the library. This entrance is hidden all the way. Thank you for coming. Thank you all for joining.